All right, so we're going to do this one together. So, so far, all I've done is create a new account. So, I just click on create a new account. And I did carrot local, that local password carrot. We're going to log in here. And let's see here. We got generate your own Nginx config file. Okay. So, I'm thinking we just generate config file and then see what's actually happening there, right? So, let's just go ahead and just say generate config. Configs 51. Okay, we click on that. Okay. Raw config. Okay, so it looks like we got this raw config. Uh, we got a couple of comments in here. We sure hope that we don't display secrets within the open directory on slash storage. Is that somewhere I want to go? Probably didn't even need to create an account that we probably could just went to straight to slash storage, huh? S T O R A G E S T O R A G. Okay. When I very first opened this, I thought it was going to be like I had to create a config file and have it send it back to myself and then have it be doing something, you know? But I'm starting to double or question myself now. I wonder if it's like config slash storage. This needs to be taken. Okay, so it's not that. It's definitely just this slash storage over here. We can try curl it, I guess. Slash storage says move permanently, but that one's still loading. Curl says move permanently, but that one's still loading, so I don't know how true that is. That's why move permanently. Let's go ahead and try slash at the end there. Okay, so if we do a slash at the end there, then we get more from it. Okay, so we got this backup down here. It looks like we have a bunch of config files. We got this backup file down here with this gun zip. Can we W get that? W get that guy right there. There we go. Well, we'll delete all that, like right there. Okay, we can. Okay, gun zip. Actually, I think I should just be able to tar right. Tar slash tac x vf right. I think I just do it with just tar. Okay, it looks like we got SQLite database. Do we have DB for on here? Or is that my other one? That's on my laptop, I think. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and throw DB for get this up and running. Um, I think we can also use SQLite browser for an SQLite database. And where's my... Where did I see that database at? Database, probably? There we go. Okay, cool. We can also use dbeaver. I'll show that here in a second, too. Okay, so we're in the database now, right? So, users. I don't really know how to use SQLite very well. Browse data, I guess. Uh, users, probably. Filter. These all. Uh... Okay, so we got some passwords here, it looks like. Let's go and grab these passwords, like right here. So, we got Jeter, Giovanni, and Meowth. Meowth or some of that. I don't know what that is. Let's go ahead and um, echo that. Dash dot text. So it'll look like MD5, right? I'm thinking. Okay, we'll echo that. The two hash dot text. Let's go and grab that last one. Double clicking on it is taking way too long, so I call that. Also, it's two hash dot text. And we probably just use hashcat with this. Hashcat attack m0. If it's an md5, hash dot text. We'll use user share where there's rocky dot text. All right, so we got three in there. We're using rocky dot text for it, right? So it didn't seem to like to do a slash storage up here, but we did get it with curl. I also didn't put in the freaking full thing there now, did I? The port. Okay, so we got admin. Okay, so it's E7. I'm sure when that one is. Let's go ahead and see who E78 is. E78 is Junior, right? What's the username for that guy? I wonder if it's just admin. It says name is Junior. That's the email like right there. Okay, the admin email. That actually makes sense. We do have to put in an email to actually get on. 
So let's go ahead and head over to here. Um, we'll head over to here, excuse me. Go ahead and press back, back. Yeah, let's do an email here. And throw in that other email that we just got. Can we not throw in that other email? Can we not backspace? What's going on here? First we up and running? No. Okay, so it did actually take it. It just didn't show me anything, huh? Wow, that's horrible. Okay. Okay, there we go. It just takes forever for some reason to show me anything. And then we had admin admin one. I'm going to grab that. Throw in that password. If we can. We'll hit uh, log in. It's just taking forever for it to get to this site for some reason. All right, cool. Well, we got it. That was pretty easy, right? We saw that uh, hidden area, and we were able to grab the hash for it. So that one was pretty easy, like right there. If we want to submit that flag, if it actually copied from over here, I have no idea. Paste. There we go. For some reason, Control C, Control V are having uh, problems. It seems like. Yeah, this is okay. Let's just say one. Let's try to submit it like that. Let's see if that works. No, nope. of course it was a correct flag because there's probably a space somewhere. I can't see anything because for some reason nothing's like scrolling over. Okay, there's that. Cool. Oh, probably because it copied it like eight thousand times. Maybe that's why. Let's go ahead and hit cancel. We'll hit submit flag again. We'll do a one to say one submit flag. There we go. Okay, cool. So we got it. So that's it for that one, like right there. So that's just pretty much just goes to show you know you should always check source code. Um, always press Control U on a site, right? And always just read through that source code, and everything like that, because they may have something in there that was left for the developers and they just never took it out. So hope you all have a good one. I'll talk to you all later.